Greetings, Believe in the Legend of the Mars here. Welcome back to another video. We're going to be playing some more Dragon Commander. Holla! If you uh, if you guys remember last um, last episode, we got married and we're slowly expanding our empire. With that being said, uh, leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications, share with your friends and family, leave a comment down below. Let's get right into the action, shall we? We have arrived. Okay. Our forces are getting stretched a little bit here. have the transport go back here all right we need to buy more units what are we lacking let's get one of these guys two of these guys I need to move everybody up to protect that border. Just to protect that border from the yellow. And then I really should claim this. And this. Actually, I'm going to go for this next. Yeah, I'm going to go for this next. Um, let's go with one of you. One of you. And I can't go anymore. Gotcha. And I'm currently out. Alright, so let's hope for the best. Oh, that's not mine, so I don't care. Next! Okay, we got a couple people battling for the homeland, which is a mistake on their behalf. I only lost one hunter. I don't want to watch this. Okay, we're going to load up, let's say, three hunters. I can only fit two, never mind. And then let's transport them here. And then unload. Then we're going to move some, some of these guys. Buy some units here. Let's get one of these and two of these. Let's go ahead and stock up on troopers. All right, we got some battles going on. First of all, it's I don't care. I don't care. Are you serious? lost two troopers. That's not bad. Not bad at all. And 
and we got some mercenary cards. Yes. Oh, we gotta go to the throne room. Commander, you are well aware it is the imp's great destiny to create the biggest and baddest explosion ever. One that can reshape our world. And I'll have you know we are getting closer to its realization. Our scientists have discovered the location of what they suspect is a metallic element of such formidable combustibility. At first they thought they were having one of those very special dreams. We want to mine it, of course. But the thing is, it can only be found beneath a couple of dilapidated elven graves. Oberon's making a fuss, but you'll allow us to dig, won't you? Rather than argue for or against the deconsecrating of Oberon's ancestors, I'd like to ask you to consider whether it would be wise at all to encourage the creation of uh, the biggest and the baddest explosion ever. Me, I don't think it is. Okay, so that's one for yes, one for no. I could create acre upon acre of perfect golden barley, where right now a thousand imps are left to rot in shallow graves. But you don't see me going around demanding Trinculo's kin to uproot its forefathers for the sake of perfect golden ale. At least, not yet. So, two no? A couple of dilapidated graves. We are talking about the fields of Evergreen, the most ancient, sacred, and beauteous of elven burial grounds. You cannot possibly allow... To upset the remains of the dead where they lay is a grievous outrage, Commander, for they may yet be blessed by the Seven and be reborn into the perpetuity of the bow. Let no imp undo this holy destiny that... Okay, so we're gonna deny this. We're gonna deny it. We need favor with the undead, so... Yeah, we're gonna accept that decision. Okay, move on. Okay. We're gonna take two hunters, or no. We're gonna take two troopers. Why can't you? Why can't you go here? Okay. Now we need to build up an army here. We're going to take one of you. One of you and one of you. We can build an army here too. Uh, and I can't build no more. So this island is protected. Four troopers, two, eleven, eight, three. Hmm. I really want to take over one of someone else's capital. His is my ne he's my next door neighbor, so he would be the obvious choice to knock out first. But I don't know if I have a big enough army as of yet. I don't feel like I do. Regardless, I have no more gold. I have no more funds. So... Excuse you? What? Green. 
Green Tucker. I don't care. Henry has a spot of well then. I think that's stuck. Well, butter my buns if this isn't better than my birthday. This ledger is a bloody gold mine. You should see the names in here. He has all the greats of the land eaten out of his palm because of their sordid little secrets. My word. There's stuff in here so saucy it'd make the Queen of Hordes blush like a maiden on her wedding night. Oh my. Now all we have to do is make this doozy public. Sure it'll cause a bit of an uproar, but think of all the power that will slip from that old sod's grasp. I know where they'll fall all right. They'll come a-plummeting from the sky like little meteors of sweet revenge aimed straight for his head. And with a bit of luck, they'll crack his skull like I crack nuts in my hands. Oh my. <laughs> what a little spitfire. Alright. Moving on. I need to buy a transport. Because I need to reinforce this island. All right. I need to reinforce this spot. Alright, this place is well defended for now, so we're gonna leave it. We're gonna go ahead and build more peeps here. One for you, one for you, one for you, and whatever we can afford there. Uh oh. Yeah, sure saw that coming. Damn it! Damn it! I don't know if we're going to be able to win that back. We're going to try, though. We need to re start reinforcing stuff. Fudge, they're enforced. Gonna have to retreat. I'm 
mercenary. Awesome. We gotta go to the throne room. Commander, you have recently denied us the Republic, but there are other matters still to which we would like to draw your attention. Uh, the late Emperor, your father, left behind an almost intangible patchwork of laws that all serve but one purpose. To drain the taxpayers' pockets by any means and at every turn. We'd like you to undo these laws. Clear the air. Think how much more effectively the government could work if it wasn't shackled by so many obscure rules and legislations. That would be a tremendous payoff. Taxation. Dear me, no, Commander. Many of our factories run on government funds. What if they shrink? Our production will stagger. Can't have that. Indeed. Okay. One for yes, one for no. Just as people must offer prayer and donations to the gods, so must they pay their respects to the government by means of taxes. I really don't know why Prospero would bother with such trifles, Commander. No one likes to pay taxes, but the war effort... So... Your father created those laws for a very good reason, Commander. He ran the greatest empire the... I'm sorry. Sorry. I need to gain favor with the other race. Alright. Okay, I need to send troopers here. Devastator here. We lost our gold mine, which upsets me greatly. I need more gold. But we're gonna put a tavern down. And then we'll build the rest in units. made me lose are you serious I'm sorry but I need these taxes Henry has a spot of door to trump well there's caused unseen in history those <laughs> whose name has been disgraced have fled the realm and all the others are lapping up every last sordid detail with the gusto of a dwarf bent backwards in a vat of ale and you've yet to hear the best part all those scandalized dukes and barons have sworn revenge rumors of assassination abound thicker than an inbred ogre i'll be rid of my accursed father once and for all May every demon spit on the dagger that will do the deed. Uh. Okay. 
Uh, wait, 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 wait. I need to go back to the bridge. I forgot. Alright. We have a lot of points to spend. Let's spend it upgrading our troops. What does the transport cloak do again? Okay. I don't have enough for that. Alright, so we just boosted our thing by quite a bit. We boosted our troops by quite a big number now. I have to build a gold mine. Gold mine. Okay, we need to get our gold up there. Unfortunately, I can't build any more troops. This place makes 13 gold. Yeah, this is going to be the best place to put it. Play that card right there. Boom. Okay. We're getting lots more gold flowing in. We're going to need to start building more armies. It's a wonderful fight of our lives. Oh! Oh, yes. Mercenaries. Lovely. Commander, I would like to raise a concern about public decency. Now, if certain men feel the apparent need to cavort with one of their own sex, I suppose that's their business, not mine. It becomes my business, however, when they engage in affection publicly. There I am, lunching in the park with my family, when my children have to witness two of their sort making out like teens in heat. Disgusting displays like that should be forbidden. And indeed, that is exactly what I am asking you to do. I am against that entirely. Dwarves and their yammering. If you feel an itch, you have to scratch. And we imps don't care what that... Sir Silverven is making an ass out of himself, Commander. Instead of shielding his children from so-called aberrance, he had better teach them a lesson or two about tolerance and liberty. As it stands, it would seem you... What an old prude Pullstaff is. If a boy and a girl can sit on a park bench and kiss the afternoon away, why not two boys or, or two girls? Is their love worth less or less beautiful? I agree. Uh, of course not. And to make the distinction is ridiculous. I agree. So Falstaff is absolutely correct, Commander. Those deviants he describes insult the Seven with their perverted practices. 
I'm sorry. I have to deny the request. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not for this at all. Mm -mm. But no. Sorry, ain't gonna happen, my friend. All right, we got a ton of gold. I gotta reinforce this area before they try to take it. Same goes for this place. I'm going to try to build as much troops as I can and then I'm going to try to take this capital and that will destroy the red once and for all. All of the red territories would become mine. And then all I'd have to worry about is yellow and green. Yellow's capital's right there. It's not it's not two spots away from me. ahead and move these guys up to reinforce them. Yellow is a big threat. There we have it, my jack-in-the-box. The day has finally dawned. Dear old dad, dead as a doornail. He'll be missed like a vomitant virus. Gods blight his soul. Soon, I'll be the queen of all dwarfs. The moment they close the lid on his coffin, <laughs> in fact. I'm not <laughs> sure that particular dull thud will sound like an angel playing the harp to my ears. Even then, I can't really be bothered going through the charade of a state funeral. Can't they just throw him in a pen and let the pigs have a treat for once? Oh, you always say the sweetest things. I knew you'd end up as nothing more than dung in the mud eventually. So how about a little celebration? I'm up for a cask or two. Uh, I think this is stuck. Blessed be the seven. Now that Lady Ida's father has taken the first step to a better life, Commander, do you think he might have been interested in the advantages of necromancy? Henry has a spot. Well, there's... That mission is stuck. Alright, we're gonna go to the royal chamber. Dear me. My privilege, Commander. We're gonna see what kind of stuff you got. I don't think I have any more passive stuff.
I will take those. I will do that. Now, uh, as you can see, I don't do a whole, a whole lot of um, dragon or myself battling. Um, although, if I did that, it would take the game would take way too long for the series and whatnot. Unfortunately, we did run out of time, so. Um, if you guys like the video, leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications here at the Fence Family, leave a comment down below, and I'll catch you in the next one. Farewell, uh, farewell, believe in dollars, bye-bye.